Okay, we're going to take you through setting up your speedometer for the first time. So first thing we need to do once we get it installed and wired after following your instructions, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to hold in the remote programming button while turning on the key. And you see we're going to enter the setup menu. On the OLED screen it'll say setup. Uh, first thing we want to do is we want to set our uh, input setting. So what we're going to do is we're going to tap the button to scroll to input. Now this input filter, what this will do is this will be set to accommodate whichever speed sender you have. So you want to go ahead and look in the book, take a, uh, see which speed sender you have, take a look on the chart. I'm going to hold in the button. Low, medium, and high are the settings. Uh, for this particular application we need low, so I'm going to hold, go to L, hold in the button. It'll let me set it, yes or no. I'm going to select yes, hold in the button on yes. It tells you it's saved. We're going, to get out, we're going to scroll out of that. Now we can continue on. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do automatic calibrate. So this is what you're going to do when you're doing your measured mile. Uh, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing. Uh, to when I enter the setup menu, hold in the button while turning on the key. Uh, or we can just continue on from here. I'm going to hold in the button. So you can do this in your driveway. Um, you can do this um, on the side of the road. It doesn't really matter. So it'll say ready to drive. You can do that in the driveway. Go drive to wherever you want to do your measuring. Uh, so it says ready to drive, yes. Hold in the button. So right here you'll see on the LCD on the, on the lower uh, left it'll say zero. That's how many pulses this speedometer has from the sender. So I'm going to go ahead and start driving. You can see it's going to start uh, counting up pulses. You may see some action on the speedometer. You may not, depending on... Now I will tell you this, if you don't see any pulses counting up in this window, that's telling you that you're not receiving a signal. So see as they're counting up. Uh, if, you're not, if you're not receiving any pulses, what that's telling you is you're not receiving a signal. So what you want to do is, the first thing you want to do is check your input filter, make sure that's set at the right setting. Um, and uh, if that checks out, then you want to check your speed sender. Uh, and there's some troubleshooting on, on our website for that. So what I'm going to do is at the end of my mile, I'm going to pull over. I'm going to hold up, tap the button. So it's going to ask me, do I want to set it yes or no? I can scroll by tapping. I'm going to hold yes. Saved. Um, then what we're going to do is we're going to, to exit the menu. We're going to turn off the vehicle. Turn it back on. Don't have to hit the button. Speedometer restart. And we can go ahead and start driving. Easy enough. Now, next thing we're going to show you is how to set this up manually. So we're going to go ahead and get into the setup menu again. Holding the button while turning on the key. Let the speedometer start going to go to manual calibrate. So I'm going to hold in the button. Now you're going to want to do this like let's say if you have an LS engine or you know the pulse is coming out of your speed sender, uh, you can do that. So all you need to do, so I'm going to set this for 4000. That'll be for an LS engine or any GM, PCM, LS, uh, TBI, TPI, diesel, Duramax, whatever. That's always 4000. Uh, and that'll at least get you in the ballpark. So what we're going to do is to change the numbers, all I need to do is tap the button. And you can set this anywhere between 2,000 and 150,000. So you have plenty of adjustment in here. To advance to the next button, next uh, digit, I'm going to hold in the button. I can advance it. I'll just leave it on zero because we're going to go to 4,000. 4, Oops, I passed it. Hold on the button to go to the next one. Hold on the button. Again, it'll ask me, do I want to set it? Yes or no? I can hit yes. I can toggle a no. I do want to set it, so hit yes. Saved. And to exit the setup menu, I'm just going to turn off the, the vehicle. Turn it back on. Don't have to touch the key. Let the speedometer restart. 
So the LS 4000 pulses, it goes right to 60 miles an hour every time. So that's the basics of setting up your uh, new speedometer. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call, and I'm sure you'll enjoy it for years to come.